Western Michigan had to build tradition. How do you do it? People didn't believe in the Broncos, so what do you do? Then they started to win. And now they're dreaming big. Roll the boat. A catchphrase became a mantra. And now it looks like a full-blown phenomenon. Row the boat? Western Michigan's boat's got a big old motor on it. There are only two undefeated teams in all of college football, and one of them is right here in Kalamazoo. A raw, fighting, wet day. But to the Bronco fans, it's a perfect 10-0. and Oars in the water. Catch, drive, finish as we row our boat in the new waters in Kalamazoo. ESPN College Game Day. We're coming to your city. Yes. And we're coming. And we're coming to your city. Game day, live from Kalamazoo, Michigan, is built by the Home Depot. Proud sponsor of college football's premier pregame show. <clears throat> Our second trip to the Mid-American Conference this time to Kalamazoo, Michigan, home of the Western Michigan Broncos. Undefeated, they take on Buffalo today. The last time we were at the MAC. Do you recognize this guy? P.J. Fleck played for Northern Illinois. Leading receiver in the game, his team would fall to Bowling Green that day, 34 to 18. But now P.J. Fleck has his program here at Western Michigan, ready to saddle up. Get the old Buster Bronco rolling through here. Come by boat, come by Bronco, whatever you do. Find your way to Kalamazoo. You know, this city, because of the unique name, has been mentioned in music. I, I don't care what your taste is, all the way from Glenn Miller to the Black Keys to Young Jeezy, all of them have mentioned Kalamazoo, but I'm not sure any of them have quite been in tune with Kalamazoo just the way P.J. Fleck is. Look at this scene on a typical November Saturday morning for Mid-American Conference football. How great is this? Snow just the way my Big Ten brethren <laughs> like it here. Yeah. Reese Davis, Desmond Howard, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreit. You know, guys, after what happened last week and everybody getting beaten and stuff, we thought, hey, why not? Let's find somebody that hasn't lost yet. And the Broncos have yet to lose. <laughs> it's uh, 12 straight wins, Kirk. 
second best streak in the country. You know, Mac football, since the days of going back to Bo Schimbeckler when he left Ohio State and went to Miami of Ohio, the Mac has always had teams, you've lived it, yeah. that the better teams in the Mac can play with teams around the country. Northern Illinois had a nice run in recent years, and now it's Western Michigan's chance. This is a legitimate team. Knocked off two teams in the, from the Big Ten, Northwestern Illinois. Got a great quarterback, have one of the best receivers in the country, yeah. a team that believes. It's good that we're here. We should be showing a little bit, of, spread a little light on this uh, program. This is a big game for the Broncos. Yeah. If they continue to win, they're on the list yeah. to go to a New Year's Eve, New Year's, Year's Bowl game, yep. Group 5. In the south, Absolutely. in the sunshine. Yeah. If they lose, they're gonna have to stay here in Kalamazoo. Cold, <laughs> winter, ugly. Yeah. Roll the boat. Roll the boat. Roll the boat. That's all. That's all you gotta say. Roll the boat. That's all you gotta say. That's all. Yeah. You killed him. You said roll the boat. Well, I mean, Maurice killed him with that open. That was fantastic. <laughs> it's just great to be here because, I mean, in this region, especially in the state of Michigan, they love football. They're so passionate about it. High school football, Big Ten, the MAC, the NFL, they love their football. And P.J. Fleck, what a wonderful job he's doing with this program. It's great to give him some love. I tell you what, look at these fans behind us. Under these conditions, they're still here. And this is what makes our show. <laughs> you got to love the Broncos fans. The 18th ranked Western Michigan hockey team skated to a 5-5 tie with Air Force last night. And anytime we think of Western Michigan and particularly the hockey team, our late great friend John Saunders played hockey here at Western Michigan in the 70s. This place was so special and dear to him. And of course, John, we feel that way about him and reminded of him constantly throughout this college football season. Can you imagine the big, hearty Saunders chuckle he would get out of seeing this crowd at his alma mater and the appreciation still being shown of this crowd for John Saunders? Great memory of him, our tremendous friend, loved college football, loved Western Michigan, and would be so proud on this day for sure. As you see, tremendous shots from the AT&T fan camp over Kalamazoo. You know, P.J. Fleck told me he wanted 15,000 in here more to break the James Madison record. It seems like we might be approaching that as you check out the new Coca-Cola refresh section offering the best seats in the house from which to enjoy Have you ever had snow in game day. seats like that? I mean... To be a Western Michigan University Bronco is to be underestimated, overlooked. We know we are not Michigan or Michigan State, Kalamazoo is a town with a funny name. The MAC is a lesser conference. The only Broncos people tend to know are the ones in Denver. But just because you don't know us doesn't mean we are not worth knowing. I didn't graduate from high school on time. My background wasn't the stuff of Disney stories. When I finally graduated, the only school that took a chance on me was Western. And in many ways, the school saved my life. My story is like that of so many others, such as Corey Davis, the standout wideout with a troubled past who needed just one school to take a chance on him. My story, his story, is the Western story. Hard work, overcoming the odds, achieving despite the naysayers. Even today, as our football team joins Alabama as the only two undefeated squads left, casual fans shrug their shoulders. National critics disrespect us. There are those who ask why would college game day even go there? But if you've ever taken a stroll from the dorms off in the valley, had a bite of a Sweetwater donut, heard the Saturday roar inside Waldo Stadium, the better question would be what took them so long. But as I said, we're used to being overlooked. All we can do is keep rowing the boat and proving the doubters wrong. Amen to that is what the crowd here said. Some great shots from our AT&T fan cam as we are now joined by the head coach. You know, I want to say the Broncos, but it, it, it almost doesn't even feel like you're the Broncos. I feel like you should be something connected to a boat or yeah. oars. Maybe, yeah, you might need to work on that. Coach, well, they, they, they cheer now when you say row the boat, but it wasn't always 
that way. What was the response you were getting when you were strongly chanting row the boat just a couple years ago? Well, it was tough. It was probably as everybody started listening to row the boat. What does it have to do with the Bronco? What does it have to do with brown and gold? What does it have to do with the Kalamazoo? But it's a whole way of life and never give up mantra. People wanted to drill holes in the boat, hit me in the head with an oar, uh, a lot of things. But uh, I think it's just a lesson in life. Just keep your oar in the water, and eventually you'll come out of those rocky seas. Eventually, just a couple years later. Uh, they're, they're responding a lot differently when you say that. Now, we want to take a look at a little video here. We'll, we'll call it the best of PJ Fleck. Take a look. Everybody look right. Say, I believe in you. I believe in you. Look left. Say, I believe in you. I believe in you. Look right. Say, I love you. I love you. Look left. Say, I love you. I love you. Man, we got a date. I promise you, that date is with destiny. Let's go pick her up. Something funny happened overnight. Just got a little news for you. Something happened overnight with all that coal, guys. I dig down in this thing, guys. Something really magical happened. I don't know if you saw. You got me, Zach? This is what for, because this is what you are. You are done. I'm 35. I'm a young man. <laughs> if you stop me, you go home. The men. Give me Casey Carson. Be humble. Be confident. Play for each other and be the diamonds. I know you are. Row the boat, baby. Row the freaking boat. Coach, <laughs> well, you know what I think is interesting is not even just the words you're saying and the way you're saying it, but the response that it elicits out of your players, something that coaches, especially when they take over programs that are struggling, try so hard to get. So how would you get it? How would you get that buy-in the way you have? Well, we just wanted to be very real, you know. It's not everybody. It's not for everybody. It's, it's not everybody's way, but it's our way. And I think players really appreciate when the coaches are very real. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be somebody that you're not. But a long time ago, I learned just be you, and the players will see that. Coach, when I look at the, the coaches that you learn from, guys like Greg Schiano and Jim Tressel and Jerry Kill, normally when you see that type of coaching tree, the, the next guy is very similar. If, you're, if you learn from Belichick, you're more of a, a Saban type of guy. You don't necessarily seem to fit the exact philosophy of, of let's say, a Greg Schiano. So where did you get your philosophy on how to be a coach and how to be real in the way you are with your players? Well, the, well, the Joe Novaks of the world, the Jerry Kills of the world, the Mike Nolans of the world, the Greg Schianos of the world, uh, you know, those guys are inside of me. But I still have to be me. I still have to be the real PJ Fleck that I can be every single day and be very proud of that. I'm not going to be somebody else. I'm not going to try to be somebody else. I'm going to be me. I want to make sure our players understand it's okay to be yourself. But as you go and you learn from all those people, that's what's inside of you, right? All the decisions you make, all the, the way you do things. But how you do it, that has to be you, and that's why I'm the way I am, I guess. And what it, what it really comes down to is what you're able to do on the field, and what you've been able to do on the field has been impressive by anyone's standards, going undefeated. When you look at what the playoff committee has seen, I know there's no love for the playoff committee here in terms of signs, but what do you see as the, the ceiling this year for your team, especially if you keep on winning? Well, I think it's endless, to be honest with you. We have an incredible group of young men. Uh, these guys are incredibly resistant. Uh, they've really handled adversity well. A lot of the star players we have on this football team started at 1-11. So we have a saying, embrace your, pre your, embrace your past to create your future. They've never built walls up. They've never ignored it. They've accepted it. They've embraced it and changed their best as they continue to move forward. But I know this, that type of character men we have, I'll put up against anybody in the entire country. Well, Coach, we appreciate your time. And no doubt what you're doing here is inspiring, not only to this community, but people around the country. But the last, I have one little bone to pick with you. And that is, I know uh, one of our guys over on the set is going to love this. I heard you listen to Christmas music in October. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yes. As, I tell you, as a head coach, you don't really get to experience Christmas. You got recruiting, you got bowl prep, that's you got enough. bowl games. Yes. Uh, but I will say this, that's that, that's why we do it here in Kalamazoo. <laughs> we love Christmas. It feels like Christmas here. Okay, uh, it's a winter wonderland. You How about Christmas. this crowd? I love this guy. <laughs> that, that, that also is right up your alley, Pollard. <laughs> PJ, it should be PJ Flex, though. <laughs>
Countdown to Kickoff is brought to you by Coca-Cola. Taste the feeling. So he's not going to bring something no. up here. Oh, that's We're good. good. Yeah, exactly. We're good. Yeah. Kirk's, yeah. Kirk's safe. Yeah. yeah, I'm always right here when that gun goes off. Gun number one, yeah. gun number two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> A worthy guest picker, former Western Michigan star, former Super Bowl winner with the Packers, and former Kalamazoo Central High School star Greg Jennings wheels up our buddies there, making sure that we get, no matter the weather, wheels up or get our guest picker here and get us ready for the pick segment, which is coming up. Look at all of these spurs. First bowl win in program history, Western Michigan under P.J. Fleck. Win of over a ranked team. They go back-to-back -back bowls. They're back-to-back -back with eight win seasons. They've got ten wins right now. And looking for more, our buddy Gene Wojciechowski is with us. You've been in Kalamazoo all week. Fleck keeps adding to this list of firsts. Your list of first might be snow-covered glasses here, but it's a remarkable, a remarkable culture that's being built here. I, I can't even see you. Who are you? You know, Reese, I, we've been embedded, actually Velcroed to P.J. Fleck and his Western Michigan team now for almost more than 100 hours this week. And go back to 2013, P.J.'s first year at Western. He goes 1-11. He gets thousands of angry letters and emails from fans begging him to quit. Well, he sticks around. Now they're undefeated. They have a chance at a New Year's Six Bowl. They are engrossed in the process, and we were lucky enough to watch that process unfold this week. Western Michigan coach P.J. Fleck believes a great entrance is a loud entrance. Hey, hey, let's go! Okay, here we go. Concentrate on what will produce results rather than on the results. The process rather than the prize. You can't focus on game day right now. We gotta focus on what we can do better individually and then collectively as a unit and then collectively as an offense, defense, special teams and then as a whole team. We've gotta be able to build those three fires throughout the week. Juice levels have to be extremely high. If you're juiceful, you're useful. Appreciate everybody coming. Um, I agree with you. I think sooner or later we're gonna need a bigger room. It's hard to win every game, but our job is to stay focused on the job at hand, and that's be one and zero in the Buffalo season. Period. Hey guys, I love your shuffle drill. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Fast feet, fast feet, fast feet. Trigger off the back. That's awesome. Happy birthday, Coach Williams. We got a nice cake for you. I know you hate it, and you can hate me all you want, and I don't care. There's a happy birthday cake. You're gonna enjoy the festivities. We've got to a point now where, okay, this is where we wanna be. This is what we wanna do every single year. This is the national brand we wanna have, and that's what you gotta be committed to, you know? Remember, failing is growth, right? Failing is growth, and one thing we love about you is you're not afraid to fail. You keep rowing the boat, man, love you. Tell your family I said hi, got it? I get here about 6, 6.30. I always light my candle. It's really a symbol to start the day, your light. You know, you are, as a head coach, you are the light for everybody else. I have to be able to provide the vision for your day. Fleck has been called the Tony Robbins of college football. He is a ball coach and life coach rolled into a human energy drink. He believes in symbols. Hey, way to go, man. In sayings. Lead you out, way to grow higher. And in service. See what that says? It says family. Family means forget about me, I love you. And we want you to know you're a part of our family now, okay? So all these guys and all the guys on our team, which is 105 guys, the coaches and everybody involved, you're a part of our team now, okay? If Fleck is driving home a little faster than usual, 
It's because tonight is one of his favorite nights of the year. Tonight is Christmas tree night. <laughs> All 12 feet of it. He's ready for Christmas after Easter. Oh, no. Pause the program. <laughs> I was not going to say it. I know. Husband of the year right there. Way to go, Shooks. I can see you with your eyes, buddy. Hey, Corey, elite job. The players know Fleck's favorite slogans by heart, but only the most daring players are willing to go full Fleck in public. Here in our program, culture is everything. <laughs> you know, obviously, there's row the boat. You're scaring Please. me right now, but go well, ahead. No, no, it's the culture, though. We, we all buy into that. Plus three, Keon! Bring it back. Keon, bring it back. Bring it bring back. Bring bring back. Bring Plus back. three. I'll do it again. Quarterback Zach Terrell, a graduate student at Western's Business School, is used to hearing cheers at Waldo Stadium. But lately, his portfolio has become more diversified. Hey. Thank you. I got an ovation in my graduate level class. Hi there. Here we go, all set. Ready, go. Let's go. I did not think it was going to be this many people. OK. <laughs> was the vision three years ago. How about that? Great job. Tomorrow, all you have to do, as loud as you can, as best as you can, is well the ball. We embrace our past to create our future. We know where we've been, we know what we've succeeded in, and we know how we failed, and we've used it to grow. Talk a little bit about why you love this game and why you love this culture and why you love doing what you have to do becomes doing what you want to do. Right? My how is for you, and I know your how is for me, so on and so forth. Have an elite night. Love you, man. Get after it. Lots of rooms. Hola, Mr. Terrell. Hey. Hey. Main thing's the main thing tomorrow. Make sure your oar stays in the water. You got it. Last but not least, my house for you. Make sure your how, when you look in this mirror, your house for everybody else. All right. Glad you're our quarterback. Please. Love you, man. Right. Good night. Have an elite night. See you at the boat yard. Row the boat. I have no idea where I'm looking right now, but you know, I've been here the whole week. My <laughs> wife calls me each night. He goes, what are you doing, honey? I go, well, I'm here in Kalamazoo. I'm down by the river. I'm following the team. And I go, you know, this thing is contagious here, what P.J. Fleck has. I am speaking the language. I'm saying I'm having an elite day. I'm embracing my past to create my future. And Reese, when it comes to P.J. Fleck and the future, he has some decisions to make maybe at the end of this season because other bigger programs are going to come after him. Take a look. And make some selections, our Saturday selection. Brought to you by Chevrolet. And look at Greg Jennings. Stand out with the Packers. Made 12 and 4, just what they were as quarterbacks. That's, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And not only a great player here at Western Michigan, also played high school here. Is this the way it was for every Western game you oh played here? Oh, my goodness. This is unbelievable. It is. This was not the way it was when I was playing. It was nothing like this, but I love it. This is the game everybody's waiting on, right? Row the boat. Oh, yeah. Row the boat is catchy. Oh, yeah. It's a lifestyle. You know what happens when everybody doesn't row the same? Your boat gets crooked. Western Michigan wants to make sure that doesn't happen against Buffalo. It's been a special year because of the type of players we have. When doing what you have to do becomes doing what you want to do, that's when you have something special. It's truly up to the men in this room to set that standard. But if we set that standard, we're going to change this community forever. Coach Fleck has always said that, you know, we'd get natural attention someday. And, uh, you know, those who stay will be champions. You know, we believed in it each and every day, and we worked hard towards it, and uh, you know, it's starting to show. We want the nation to be able to see our conference in the spotlight, and that we're not gonna back down to anybody. Man, <laughs> it is really cold out here. Or what, is it cold? It's cold. <laughs> it's freezing, and the Broncos are 35-point favorites. <laughs> Yes, who I'm picking. Who are you going to go on a limb and say Western Michigan? Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Here goes Buster. Oh, man. There we go. There we go. We're going to hear a lot of that tonight. A whole bunch of that. Every time the Broncos score, you hear that camera. And thanks to Greg Jennings, our celebrity picker. Old Buster, the Broncos here. This has been a great scene in Kalamazoo. You're going to have a great day at college football.